another pitcher injury and six hitters that could be breaking out up next on Fantasy Baseball Today in Five. Welcome into FBT in 5 on Tuesday, April 9th. I am Frank Stanfield, joined by Scott White and the latest in a very large group of pitcher injuries so far. Fran Valdez was scratched from his start Monday after experiencing soreness in the top of his left elbow after playing catch. He's been sent back to Houston to be evaluated by team doctors. Both Joe Espada and Astros GM Dana Brown have downplayed the level of concern, noting Valdez hasn't yet been placed on the I.L., we're late. We're waiting to learn more, Scott. But obviously, everything we've been dealt this season, it's very easy to be pessimistic. Yeah, yeah. Hard not to fear the worst. In fact, when he was scratched, when when the report came out, he was scratched from his start Monday. I thought, here we go, here we go. Framber Valdez, he's gone too. And then, yeah, it was determined, revealed that it was an elbow issue. So I, I mean, there's nothing to say until we know what the actual diagnosis is. You know, it's just, there are no good picks or bad picks, only pain. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fantasy baseball nihilist now. I don't know. Let's Hopefully talk- he's okay. Hopefully Valdez is okay. Let's hope so. Let's talk about something a little bit more positive. Hitters that have gotten off to great starts so far. Could these names be breaking out? Anthony Volpe continues to look like a brand new hitter. He went one for three with a walk and his second home run of the season. He also has three steals. He's betting 417 early on here, Scott. What have you seen from Anthony Volpe? Do you think he's breaking out? Yes, I, I think so. I'm hopeful anyway. The plate discipline has been very good. The reports this spring about him flattening out his swing seem to have bared fruit you know the line drive rate is high the he's getting lots of hits obviously batting average over 400 the one concern is that he's just not hitting the ball that hard this home run he hit on monday was his first barreled ball of the year which is kind of surprising if for no other reason because then because it was his second home run of the year so uh that's strange that's a little strange And, and look there are plenty of good hitters who don't hit the ball that hard with great consistency, uh, Jose Altuve is is one example. So maybe v- Volpe is just strange in that way, though it's with such a small sample for, for a player so early in his career, it's it's difficult to hang your hat on that. I want to see the exit velocities go up, not going to lie. But overall, I'm encouraged, and I'm going to try not to let that uh, dampen my enthusiasm for Anthony Volpe. The rest of the hitters on this list are all waiver wire options. They're rostered in less than uh, 70% of CBS leagues. And Will Benson, they also had huge games here on Monday. Uh, Will Benson, two for three with a sock and a shoe. It was his second home run, his second steal of the season. Brett Beatty went three for five with a run scored. He has multiple hits in three of his last four games and obviously had a bunch of prospect pedigree in the past with the New York Mets. Brandon Marsh, two for four with his third home run of the season. Bryce Terran continues to hit. He went two for four with his first home run. We know he also has seven steals early on in the year. And uh, Taylor Ward, three for five with three RBI and his first stolen base of the year. It's got any enthusiasm for those specific names. Taylor Ward, Bryce Terang, Brandon Marsh, Brett Beatty, and Will Benson. Well, look, the two with the most value to start out are Taylor Ward and Will Benson, Ward especially. Uh, It's not like you're going to be able to pick him up. Well, 68% roster, maybe you could pick him up. And I I would say he has the highest floor of anyone in this group, uh, batting, you know, uh, in the middle of the Angels lineup. He's pretty much always been productive in between injuries. I I don't see him becoming a standout in fantasy, doing much better than a 275 batting average, 20 to 25 home runs. What could change the the math there is if, if, if the angels really do follow through on Ron Washington's wishes of, of running more and Ward is a part of that, maybe getting 15 to 20 steals, that could be a game changer for him. But I do think there's limited upside with the bat, but still enough upside that, uh, 
you could do worse than him as a starter. Will Benson, there's a lot of power and speed there. I liked him a lot coming into the season, especially for rotisserie leagues. I think that the strikeouts are going to hold him back for, for points leagues. But, you know, he's delivering on the power and speed. He's playing more regularly, given all the, the injuries to the Reds. He's getting some at-bats against lefties, which might bring down his batting average. But overall, I think it's a good thing that Will Benson is playing more and uh, definitely deserves more Roto appreciation. Maybe the one who could take the biggest step forward here and emerge as a true standout in fantasy is Brett Beatty, who, of course, we be We've always known he has that kind of upside. He was a big prospect in the Mets organization, put up huge exit velocities in the minors, huge numbers overall. And it just wasn't there as a rookie. Well, his strikeout rate is down to 20% so far this year. And after this three for five performance, but Beatty's batting average is up to 333. Now he was having trouble hitting the ball hard too. Doesn't, it has a much better history of hard contact than Anthony Volpe does. But the, the exit velocities were low for the success Beatty was having. But he hit, you know, two of those hits, two of those three hits Monday were 105 miles per hour thereabouts. So that was a good sign for Beatty. And uh, I'm encouraged by what I see so far from him. All right. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we will be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 